Welcome to the Money Manifestation Mastery Podcast with your host, Laura Waldman, where we talk all things money. Big money, big purpose, big power. Waking up your wealth for heart-centered business owners and entrepreneurs. In today's episode, we are going to break the cycles keeping you stuck. I know how incredibly frustrating it is when there's a result that you want, but you can't seem to get it. It seems that there's never enough time or never enough money or never enough support or never enough energy. And you keep yourself stuck, cycling in the old habits, old patterns, and can't seem to break through, can't seem to bust through and can't seem to create the result that you truly desire. Today's episode is going to put a spotlight on what's going on and a step-by-step process to support you to break through those cycles, keeping you stuck once and for all. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome back. I wonder how you are doing this week. What's going on currently in your life, in your business, in your finances? Welcoming all of you here in today's conversation. I am delighted you've joined us. This week, I've been having lots of conversations with clients around cycles, patterns that are holding them back from moving forward with their business, moving forward with their desired outcome, what they're wanting to manifest, what they're wanting to create. We've been identifying the cycles and habits that are keeping them stuck, that are keeping them cycling or looping in an old way of doing things that is simply no longer aligned with where they're going. My clients have been feeling frustrated by these cycles, fed up with these patterns and wanting to bust through them once and for all. And I understand this very much because this is what I'm working through continually in one area or another. I've been working through breaking a cycle or a habit that has been with me for a very long time, for over two decades now. So I've been working using the manifestation mastery method, using the tools to help myself break out of these cycles. So I'm continually living and breathing this work day in, day out. And I want you to know that the work works. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly effective, but not always in the way that you think and not always in the timeline that you want. And sometimes it can be surprising what you find that's actually the roadblock or in the way of you being able to move forward in the way that you want. And this is what's so amazing about this path is that there are things that you don't know yet that are actually in the way of you creating and manifesting what you want. So it's like the great reveal. You get to know yourself and understand yourself on deeper and richer levels. And this is one of the great values of this work is you getting to know you, you understanding you and liberating yourself to become more of yourself in the world. And this is what I think is at the root of manifestation mastery is essentially you manifesting yourself into your physical reality, that next level version of yourself. But What we do is we tend to focus on the outside results. So the result that you want financially, the results that you want in your business, the results that you want in your relationships, in your health, in your personal life. And yet the inner game is all about you revealing more of you to you. And isn't that cool? But it can be sometimes confusing and it can be sometimes frustrating and it can feel hard and difficult at times. And it's not that it isn't hard and difficult at times, But actually, there's a place of so much ease and flow and simplicity within all of that, that the manifestation mastery method is designed to help cut through, to find that flow, to find that place of alignment and find that place of ease. But it doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. 
And it doesn't mean that it's not going to be hard at times to come back into that place of flow, alignment and ease. But I want to remind you that whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, whatever feels impossible isn't that there is a way through. You just can't see it yet, or you don't know how to break that cycle yet. That's keeping you in separation from that place of alignment. It's really important to have compassion for yourself and to come into this work from a place of curiosity, to try and tap into that wealthy witness that is witnessing what you're going through, being the observer of what's happening and where you are. And the manifestation mastery method is designed to help you create a bit more space around what's going on so you can see, so you can unhook from some of the stories, the beliefs, unhook from some of the emotional reactions, unhook from some of those physiological responses that fire off in your body. And so this work is designed to bring you back into balance, mentally, emotionally, and physically, which will help you come into deeper connection with yourself, with your body, with the universe, with life. And it's absolutely beautiful coming home to that alignment. But we need to identify the cycles that are keeping you stuck, the cycles that are keeping you looping in an old default way of doing things that is stopping you or blocking you from moving forward. And having coached so many clients on this this week, it's sometimes challenging to find this on your own. It's sometimes hard to see because you're so used to doing what you do and being how you are. And mostly that happens on default without even thinking about it, that it's often in a blind spot. And this is why it's so important to have someone to hold space for you, to help mirror back to you, to help you see what's going on. So please make sure to tap the resources that we have to support you with this. And don't forget to apply to book in for a one-to-one call with me where we can do this together because I'm here to help you see. It's like putting a spotlight on yourself from a place of love with the intention to help liberate you. But we need to get honest and pay attention and also make the decision that you've had enough of the old cycle. Enough is enough already. With manifestation, the important first step is to declare what you want. And part of declaring what you want is making a decision about what you want and then committing to that decision, which means that anything that's in the way of what you want needs to be addressed, needs to be worked with, needs to be transformed, needs to go through a period of change. And it's very natural, normal for human beings to want to avoid the discomfort of change and avoid the discomfort of transformation and avoid the healing journey that your intention is going to take you on. This is why it's so important to connect to what you want, why you want it, and be so clear that's what you want, that you're willing to face everything in the way of that. And this is part of the game. Full decision, full declaration, full commitment. And that is an essential part of manifestation. And right here is the first challenge. Getting clear on what you want, what you really want and why you want it. And then staying committed to that and going all in on it. Most people struggle at the first hurdle. And often that first hurdle is addressing a cycle or a pattern or a habit that's keeping you stuck. And with the people that I coach, they are often immensely frustrated and fed up with this cycle. They are bored of it. They want to change it, but can't quite figure out how. The cycle that I've been looking at recently is what I call my wounded healer that keeps me stuck in something I call the spiritual maze or the transformational journey. And isn't it interesting that the very thing that I do, the thing that I'm good at, 
has in some areas become an obstacle for me moving forward in my business because I love healing work. I love transformation work. I love this work and I could do it all day long. And yet there's some things that I need to just move forward with. It's out of my comfort zone that takes me outside of that cycle of, you know, the transformation work, healing work, spiritual work. Some of it's just practical groundwork or uncomfortable new habits. And yet I can keep myself stuck in the cycle of healing transformation to the point that there is no end. So I was trying to heal and transform and heal and transform, but it was keeping me stuck in a cycle of endless healing and endless transformation. And I still very much know the value of healing work and transformation work and all of this work. But for me, it got to a place where I was actually hiding in the work and avoiding other work. I had created a comfort zone with doing this work and was in avoidance of doing other work. And it was so interesting to see what an energy leak it was becoming for me because not only am I doing healing and transformation work for myself, but one of the ways that I was keeping myself stuck is hyperfixating on other people's problems, trying to help other people, particularly family members and particularly family members that don't actually want to do this work. So I would spend a lot of time thinking about other people that were challenged or going through difficult times. And I have the best intentions. I want to help the people that I love, people that I care about that are struggling and that is creating an obstacle for them moving forward in their life. But what I found was I was spending so much time thinking about other people's problems, feeling other people's problems, trying to solve other people's problems. And the biggest problem with that is they had not asked for my help. They had not consented to doing this work. So I was using all of this energy trying to help people that didn't ask for my help and quite frankly, didn't want my help. But it almost became this unconscious, addictive cycle. And I've had to work on breaking that cycle. And under that cycle, Do you know what I found? I was trying to create connection with people that I cared about by helping them. So it's a way of me loving people and building intimacy. And what I found under that is if I stopped that cycle, that under there, I felt a part of me that felt really scared and really alone. And actually, I was just scared about moving forward into the unknown. And it felt lonely and dark and unknown. And the story in my head was, I'm all alone. Everyone's going to leave me. No one's going to come with me. And I had to get to the point of realizing that, yes, a lot, if not most, if not all of my family members are not coming on this path with me. It's not what they're here to do. It's not what they're choosing. It's not what they want. So I had to unhook from what I would call some family patterns and family cycles ways that I was being within these family dynamics and let go and let them go in order to move forward. Now, I'll be honest with you that inside of my body and inside of my mind and inside of my emotions, it really felt like breaking up and the end of days. And my little small self was deeply stressed about this. I had a lot of stories and beliefs about it, a lot of emotions that were coming up around it and some physiological responses running through my body. So I needed to get help to help break out of these cycles, break out of these habits and be brave as well as using the tools, the manifestation mastery method. The work works if you work it, if you remember to use the tools. So Slowly but surely, I've been leaning in, facing, being brave, holding space to break through the cycles and the habits and the patterns that were keeping me looping, keeping me stuck in the spiritual maze or the self-development maze, the endless cycle of healing and transformation, and also let go, really let go and focus on what I'm being guided to do, what I'm being called into next and to be brave. 
And I'll be honest with you, it took me some time (laughs) to find the truth in this process through the stories, through the thoughts, through the beliefs, through the nervous system response. I had to hold the line and hold space to really deeply listen to what I was being called to do and called into next. And now through the other side, we're adjusting and adapting. It feels like being on a new floor, on new ground, and I'm acclimatizing. I'm getting used to this new perspective, new point of view, new way of doing things, new habit of behavior. And I can feel that old cycle, that old neural pathway that's just wanting to pull my attention and I have to be disciplined and catch it and come back into the center point. And with my clients this week, a couple stories that came up for them were again, habits of behavior within family dynamics, not setting boundaries, going into these default habits of behavior that was stopping them moving forward. And how it manifested was, well, I don't have enough time. They weren't putting the time and the energy to do the work. They stopped showing up to the calls. They stopped doing their daily practice. They were overwhelmed by everything that was happening in life. The cycle, the habit amplified. And what I helped them see was, what is the feeling that you don't wanna feel? What is underneath the cycle? What is underneath the spin or the loop of this old way of doing things? And what I found is there's a feeling, a feeling that you don't want to feel that is creating a block and that is reinforcing that cycle or reinforcing that spin. So we need to go under it and go, what is the feeling? What is the feeling that you don't want to feel? And what is that next level version of yourself that's calling you home that you're not connecting to? In a way, it's a place where we self-abandon and we pull out of connection. It keeps us spinning in our head, in our emotions, in our reactions. And yet the invitation from what I call future wealthy you, that powerful, embodied, connected, rooted part of you lives deeper in the body, lives deeper in the belly. And it's calling you home. But to come into that connection, to break that cycle requires you to feel some feelings that you don't want to feel and to let go and surrender and hold the line. So you pull the energy out of the cycle. You stop feeding it. You stop feeding it with your attention. You stop feeding it with your mind, through your thoughts. You stop feeding it with your emotions. And you start feeding instead that future wealthy you, that connection with who you are and what you want. That is designed to break the cycle. But it is a discipline and it takes time to break cycles and it takes time to rewire old habits. But you can choose it in a second. You can choose it in a moment, but you have to keep re-choosing it until you acclimatize that new habit, that new way of doing things, that new pattern that you're trying to develop. With another client this week, she identified that one of her patterns was to be constantly buying new courses or training in new things that she was searching, searching, searching outside of herself, keeping her very busy, doing lots of doing. But what we found was she was actually avoiding what she knew that she needed to do. And in there, there was this belief of not enough there wasn't enough that she's not enough and found this part of her that felt that she was stupid so this overcompensating uh, in terms of overworking over delivering but also lacking a sense of self-trust by constantly searching outside of herself so that not enough and feeling stupid not intelligent enough was keeping her disconnected from trusting herself and doing what she knows she needs to do As we got deeper into that wise part of herself that is more spiritual, more magical, the she called the the witch, her witchy self, that was tapped into all sorts of magic and universal wisdom. She also found that there was a part of her that was scared of that part of herself, that mistrusted that part of herself, um, and worried that she was crazy and, and delusional. And So she pulled out of that part of herself as well. So she was self-abandoning from two different places. And this was keeping her just spinning and stuck 
and unable to move forward. So we worked on helping to feel the feelings she didn't want to feel, which was feeling stupid and not enough and scared and fear of being crazy. And we allowed that to just be there and move through. And she came back into connection with this incredible power inside of her. This power that, yes, is tapped into the magic of the universe and the spiritual part of herself, but is also very grounded and very good at business and knows how to make money. And then a few days later, she made 25 grand. Very, very cool. So she went from being in the tumbleweeds into making really good money because that part of her that is outside of the spin and outside of the cycle knows how to create. And the same goes for you. So this is the importance of breaking through these cycles, breaking out of these spins, because when they leak energy, you leak time energy, you leak mental energy, emotional energy, money energy. It keeps you spinning. It keeps you stuck in a cycle that stops you moving forward. And the work is to get under it and to understand what's running that cycle, which will be something on the emotional level, something to do with your past, you know, stories, beliefs, emotions, default nervous system responses, and go in and meet that part. And then come into alignment with what it is that you want and who you truly are. The part of you that's connected to source, to your soul, to your heart, to your body, to the planet, that knows exactly what to do. And really listen to that part. Start to develop a relationship with that part of yourself. And it can take time to build that trust, to build that connection, to acclimatize to this new level of being. It's very powerful and it's very vulnerable. This part of you is powerful and vulnerable, powerful and sensitive. And we need to hold all of these parts of yourself so you can feel safe and brave and courageous to move forward and take that next best aligned action. So I would love to know what is landing for you in today's conversation. What cycles are keeping you stuck? Where are you spinning? Where are you looping in old cycles, old habits, old patterns of behavior? I would love to hear. And please remember to be compassionate and kind to yourself because mostly that's going on on default, unconsciously, on automatic. And it does take some work and some holding and support in order to break those cycles. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you want help to break through these cycles. I am here. We have tools and resources for you. So I invite you to come over to my website, laurawaldman.com, tap into the free resources that we have, book in a call with me. Let's have a conversation and we can look at this together and help you see what's going on and open up the doors to the path to your personal liberation to help you manifest what it is that you truly want and cut through the crap, break through the old cycles so you can take that next best aligned action, bridging the gap between where you are and where you want to be. Thank you for joining us for today's conversations. Break the cycles keeping you stuck. And don't forget, if you haven't already, to follow or subscribe to this podcast to never miss an episode. And I look forward to being with you again next time.